finesse two times. <laughs> I know it's been a minute since me and you done pulled up on each other. Yeah, last time me and you talked, I was talking about how your mama went in there. She was stealing that money out of that box. Yeah, when yeah, when I all them. Yeah, that shootout was something else. Your mama was in there stealing that money out that box. Remember that? <laughs> you can laugh about it now. Hey, man, say, that's your mama. That's your mama. It ain't my mama. That's your mama. It ain't my mama. That's your mama. Your mama on a whole nother level. Man, what is... Is everybody in Memphis like that? Even the old women. <laughs> you say your mama gonna get it how she get it. Mm, she kept plenty of money on your books, didn't she? Hey, one thing I can say about you, boy, you ain't good in there, but like how you came out there. Yeah, your stomach, you got one of them foopas. You know how the women, <laughs> the women had them foopas. <laughs> when you be wearing them tight shirts, <laughs> you got a foopa. I'll be saying, boy, I finish two time wearing them shirts. You say you just eating good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, have you been on the internet lately today? Oh, you ain't been on there? Man, you might need to go check it out. Man, your name ringing bells right now. You remember that Mexican boy that cut your hair Super Bowl weekend? Yeah, the one that got the tattoos on his face. Let me ask you a question. Did you pay that boy for that haircut or you ran off on the plug? Which one did you do? Well, he said you ain't pay him. Hey, look at you. I know, I know you didn't pay that boy. I know you didn't pay him. Well, I'm telling you right now, he done put a ban on you in Arizona. He said you can't come back there no more. And let me tell you something. And you might be able to get away with that with black people. But the Mexicans, hey, let me tell you something. You ain't never had no ban put on you by no Mexican boy. You better be worried about it. Boy, they will put a banana in your tail. <laughs> I'm not talking about a banana that you eat. <laughs> I'm talking about honey bun, gang. They'll put a banana in your tailpipe and make you peel it and eat it, right? And boy, them boys will make you go down on your knees and fix it. Man, you telling me you wish he would. I'm telling you, you don't want no problems with them Vato Locos. I'm telling you right now. I'm serious. He put a ban out on you. He said you can't come back to Arizona. I'm dead serious. Now watch this. He got to be somebody and all, now why you a big time rap star in order for him to get that close to you, he gotta be somebody in Arizona. He just ain't no flunky. He just ain't somebody that just sitting around talking about who need a haircut. Hey, he open down now. He ain't got one of them type of chairs. And I know for you to get your good baby hair sitting in his chair, yeah, good and curly as your hair is. Boy, your hair curly like Rick James. And you sit down in his chair and let him give you a little edge up and get you right. And then he say, if you didn't want to pay for it, finesse, why you didn't just get a boy no promotion? He didn't give you no back end. <laughs> you done listened to your song so long, you think everybody supposed to give you the back end. You supposed to pay that boy for that haircut up front. At least when you get out there, when you get out that chair, you supposed to pay that boy his money. Man, you talking about you didn't have no change. <laughs> boy, what you gonna do? You know you can't go back to Arizona. Hey, hey, man. What? Boy, 
Boy Junior ain't go <laughs> Boy Junior can't protect nobody. Boy, as soon as Trey Song <laughs> Boy, as soon as Trey Song showed up, that boy gonna run off and leave his shadow again. Well, I'm letting you know right now. And he got a whole bunch of tattoos on his face. And he got more tattoos on his face than them island boys. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Hey, man, if I was you, hey, look, man, just go on and pay the boy the money. Cash App, Zelle, Vimo. I mean, come on, man. You, you might as well pay him. <laughs> Why wouldn't you pay him? You, you spent all that money on that ugly clothing line you just dropped. <laughs> Who told you to put that clothing line out? I'm looking at you. I'm like, <laughs> boy, I'm looking at your clothes right now. Boy, I seen that clothing line. I was strolling through Facebook. <laughs> it came up. I said, who oh, told him that's too time to make that a clothing line? Boy, you need to go back and take that website down. You done sold how many pieces? You done sold 640 jogging suits the first day. Hey, man, well, I, hey, I could be wrong. But, boy, I looked at them jogging suits and say, man. That don't look right. Now, nah. But yeah, man, you need to go and take care of old boy with the... You still got his Instagram. Well, man, look here. Man, go hit that boy. Come in. That ain't a good look on you for this two times. You done ran off with the boy money. You did run off with his money. You didn't pay for no haircut. You ran off with his money. It's the same thing. His time is his money. When you perform on stage, don't you want to get paid? All right, then. So come over there some time. Don't be like that. Go and pay the boys money. You're going to get Junior. Boy, don't you know Junior ain't going to do nothing. Yeah, tell me what you going to get Junior to do. No, man. Do I want to go to the studio with y'all? Yeah, I want to go to the studio. Hold on, let me go park my car. I'll be right back.